A warm greeting. Today is Saturday, February 10, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. In this video, I would like to talk about the warm temperatures prevailing across the planet. This video is of utmost importance because the temperatures are at record levels for this time of year. In fact, January 2024 has been the hottest January on Earth since records began, and as you know, these warm temperatures can have a direct impact on the hurricane season in the Pacific and Atlantic. In this video, I will discuss some of the effects expected from having such warm temperatures at record levels, especially the warm temperature anomalies prevailing in the tropical Atlantic, which could potentially lead to a hyperactive season combined with the future development of La Nina for the peak of the season. In the following image, you can see how January 2024 has been the hottest January on record. That is, the warmest in 170 years. In red, particularly, we can see the ocean regions that are currently the warmest. This includes regions of the Indian Ocean, the Western Pacific, and the subtropical and tropical regions of the Atlantic. This event of such warm temperatures in the oceans is a direct effect of global warming and has significant implications for marine life. For example, coral bleaching, especially in sectors of the Western Pacific and some regions of the Caribbean. These temperatures are so extreme that the coral bleaching scale has had to be modified. As you can see in the top image, this was the scale that was used before, and it has had to be modified to account for the extremely warm temperatures being reported for the first time in history. Previously, the coral bleaching alert only went up to alert level 2, and now alert levels 3, 4, and 5 have been created to take into account extremely warm temperatures present during these last months. Especially note the region of the tropical Atlantic and just east of the Caribbean where the alert level is at level 4. Coral bleaching will be significant in the coming months. In the North Atlantic, you can see that temperature anomalies are currently almost 1 degree Celsius above normal. This is represented by the red line in this graph, where throughout the year 2024, we have anomalies in temperatures that exceed those we have had over the last 30 years. The most surprising thing is that, as you know, 2023 set records. In 2023, the warm temperatures were causing the Atlantic hurricane season to be more active than usual despite the presence of the El Niño phenomenon. Surprisingly, 2024 continues to break records on a significantly larger scale than what we had in 2023. One of the main concerns heading into the 2024 hurricane season is that the Atlantic region is extremely warm, warmer than we had in 2023. It is anticipated that along with the development of La Nina, this could create exceptionally favorable conditions for one of the most active seasons we've had in history. The average anomaly in the tropical Atlantic region is 1.6 degrees Celsius above normal. As shown in the graph below, this is the first time that during the month of January, average temperatures in this region have exceeded 26 degrees Celsius. What is most surprising is that you see that this graph extends from 1880 to the present day. So, these warmer than usual temperature values simply represent an extreme event that must have significant consequences across the Atlantic and the rest of the planet. These warm temperatures are so atypical that they have exceeded four standard deviations, which would represent an event with a recurrence of 39,000 years. This gives you an idea of how extreme this event is, and warm temperatures are not limited to the North Atlantic but are also seen throughout the planet, with average temperatures reaching record levels, exceeding all temperatures observed over the last 30 years. The year 2023 set a record for the warmest ocean temperatures in the last 30 years, and again, you can see that the difference is extremely marked. We are talking about 1 degree Celsius above what we had in 2023. One of the places where this event is most extreme is just off the west coast of Africa, where temperatures are up to 4 degrees Celsius above normal. These are temperatures that we typically see during the months of June and July in this region of the Atlantic. This is really concerning because if the atypical behavior continues, we are talking about possibly record-breaking temperatures for the peak of the Atlantic Ocean season, levels we have never seen before. Another very concerning factor is that the distribution of warm temperature anomalies remains over the tropical region where the majority of tropical cyclones form. This is a significant difference compared to what we had during January of last year. This heat concentrating in the tropics is also a factor that can contribute to the formation of very dangerous cyclones, both in the Atlantic and in the eastern Pacific region. For example, I will now show you the ocean temperature anomalies we had during the month of February in the seasons that have been the most active in the history of the Atlantic. Here we have the image from 2005, here we have 2010, here is 2017, and 2020. You can see that the Atlantic was extremely warm during the month of February in these years. Now, look at the comparison for 2024, where it is significantly hotter than what was observed during the seasons that have been the most active in Atlantic history. This is a very dramatic event with red colors that far exceed the heat we saw during the month of February in the years with the most active hurricane seasons we have had in the Atlantic. 
It's quite astonishing, and as I mentioned in the video I recorded a few days ago, the combination of warmer temperatures in the Atlantic and the development of La Nina in the Pacific could generate extremely favorable conditions for the 2024 hurricane season to break records as the most active hurricane season in history. Unfortunately, the projection from global models over the next three months shows that the high pressure in the subtropical and northwest Atlantic should be weaker than normal. This could lead to a reduction in trade winds and cause ocean surface temperatures, especially between the Caribbean and Africa, to continue warming over the next months before the start of hurricane season. Remember that this forecast is subject to change, and although we are currently experiencing the hottest year in ocean surface temperatures in the Atlantic and around the world, we have to see if this pattern continues or worsens. We all hope that the model projections are wrong and that the warming does not continue, although unfortunately, all indicators tell us that the Atlantic is likely to remain extremely warm over the next months and possibly during the 2024 hurricane season. Remember that the best way to address global warming and adapt is to stay informed and educate ourselves on the issue. Here at Hurricane Info, we will always continue our commitment to bring you the latest information and accompany you during the 2024 hurricane season. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red button below the video on our YouTube channel. In the coming days, I will record new videos to discuss the latest forecasts from the best global models, which also suggest a potentially more active season in the Atlantic region. So, see you later, and enjoy the weekend.